Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the front shock absorbers in this 2003 Nissan Frontier. It's pretty much the same operation for model years 2001 through 2004, as well as for the left side and the right side. Items needed are new shocks from 1AAuto.com, 21, 18, and 14 millimeter sockets with a ratchet, 14 millimeter wrench, um, pliers or vice grip pliers, a pipe for some extra leverage for a couple of those bolts, and jack and jack stands. I'm going to remove the wheel and tire. If you don't have the benefit of air tools, loosen the lug nuts with the vehicle on the ground first, raise and secure the vehicle, then remove the wheel and tire the rest of the way. Uh, we use a pry bar for some extra leverage to break the wheel free. Locate the top mounting point and spray it down with some pen training oil and then the bottom mounting point on the lower control arm there. I'm using a vice grip to hold the very top portion of the shock because if I don't it's going to spin while I turn the 14 millimeter nut so I'm going to use a 14 millimeter wrench and loosen it as I hold the top and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward as I do that. Go ahead and remove the upper bushing and washer. Here I'm using an 18 millimeter socket and ratchet along with a pipe to loosen up the lower mounting point there and that's a bolt that goes through that lower control arm uh, with a captive nut on the other side and I'll fast forward as I take that out. Here's a shot of the shock that we just took out and you can see when it's compressed it does not uh, come come back up so you can see with the new shock when you do compress it it's going to spring back out which is exactly what you want which just goes to show that the old shock was worn out put a metal washer and a bushing on the top and then Take the shock and push it through the upper control arm down into its mounting point on the lower control arm and reinstall that 18 millimeter bolt. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward as I uh, tighten that up. I'm not going to fully tighten it. Uh, I'm going to come back and finish that up later. From underneath, pull down on the shock to compress it and let it go into the hole where it mounts up top. Put the rubber bushing and then your last metal washer and then the 14 millimeter nut on top. And here I'll be able to use a 14 millimeter socket and ratchet to tighten it up and I'll go ahead and fast forward as I do that. Now I can go ahead and finish fully tightening that lower bolt and I'll go ahead and fast forward as I do that. Now go ahead and reinstall your wheel and start your lug nuts by hand and I'll go ahead and fast forward as I do that. Now go ahead and retighten it back up. And now with the vehicle on the ground, you can go ahead and torque your lug nuts in a star pattern to 100 foot pounds. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.